This is Inferno of the Damned on Normal and Hard. And before I start this quest, I'm just going to mention a few things. The first is that th this is a very confusing quest to go through the first time you do it. Uh, uh, and so it's probably helpful to have the wiki page pulled up and specifically the map that's numbered. There's, it's numbered. It has uh, red for the Inferno side, and I think it's like bluish, greenish on the regular side. And so if you use that and then follow the narrative that goes along with it, that will really help you if you're getting lost. Uh, but you know, with experience, this quest isn't so bad after a couple of runs. Uh, a few things that I purchased for the, specifically for this quest, uh, from House of Wizardry in House Jurassic, I purchased Fireball Wands. My chance, as you can see, is very low, but I'm gonna be able to get that up with Greater Heroism, uh, with my Command Cloak, and potentially even with my human versatility skill boost. So with those three things, I can get it up to 100%, close to 100%. Even without the the boost, I only have six of those. I can get it to at least 65, 70%, and that's good enough. If it fails half the time, that's fine. Uh, on each side, on, you're going to have uh, portals. You're either going to need to light them or put the flames out. So the fireball is used to light light the flames, and the port the Ice Storm is used to put them out. Uh, if you don't have these, you can still complete the quest, but it's much more painful. You have to drag methods basically over to the flames to light them and put them out. And that will work because they keep respawning. So even if you know, even if it doesn't work, you'll eventually get one that works. But it could significantly increase the, the quest. And even though I've, I only have five ranks to UMD, uh, and not really a charisma uh, based build, I'm a strength based build. But I put 14 points to Charisma and have some Charisma gear. So I have a pretty decent Charisma. That combined with five ranks of UMD and some of these boost items is enough to use these wands in this quest. Uh, as I go through this, I am going to call out the numbers on the map uh, in case that's helpful at all. All right, so we are in space zero and we are facing east and we want to go west to start. So I'm just going to turn around. I'm going to bring my hireling out and I'm going to do sort of like a, I should probably rearrange my hotbar to have it sort of arranged with um, sort of what I'll call light buffs. Uh, in fact, let me, which are sort of these four, uh, my righteous command which the tooltip says 1 minute 54 seconds, but you'll see when I do it, it's 18 minutes. Holy Sword. Angel Skin, which again, it says 2 minutes 12 seconds, but when I do it, it's 18 minutes. And that gives me some PRR and uh, stacking PRR and MRR. And then Greater Heroes. You know, those sort of help my uh, key stats without the fire resist and other things. Actually, I'm probably going to give myself fire. Probably going to give wildfire, because again, the Inferno side gives you pretty thin. The other interesting thing about this quest is when you kill these guys on this side, they respawn on the other side as undead. So everything we kill on this side, we're going to have to re-kill on the other side as undead. All right, so um, there's some optional things you could do here. I am just going to do the main path. I sometimes have trouble getting these optionals. All right, so then we just basically kill this portal. This is spot number one on our... Uh, one on the map. Uh, I guess technically it's two, so one I skipped. Um, one is an optional, which I guess I could. Let me. I guess I could do. I could try them. Uh, so that way I'm fully following the map. So this is one. It's an optional. But you have to get them to notice you. Hall. They don't appear to notice you yet. And that's why I never do these, I think, because they're kind of slow. They will eventually notice. So now we're on the Inferno side.
And I think we have to get the key for this. Cannot be picked. Yeah, so, yeah, this is kind of why I never do this, these, because it just takes time, and you do get a chance for shield parts, but I generally just prefer so the other way. All right, so we're on the Inferno side now. Normally I would, uh, we're, this is two. Or this is actually not two, but. So anyways, I'm gonna follow up this path. I should maybe post my uh, path, my quicker completion path. Alright, we're gonna go down to this portal, and this portal on the map is number two. So number one is that room, and number two is this. And we just kind of beat down this portal. Alright, and so here's the flame methods. Maybe I'll see if I can't put, put her on passive and bring her over here and see if I can't get her to get these methods to light the thing and just show you how that works. Alright. So you have to drag, you have to like, see how you get them to light it? But it's kind of a pain. And they're easy to kill, they're squishy. But you can do it without the without the fireball wands. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna use the wands on the other ones, and on this one I'm gonna just use this method approach. Right. And when you do this, the guardian shows up. And so, you, on the other side, this is the inferno side, or the uh, regular side, to light it. On the um, other side, you would use the methods, air methods, to basically blow them out. So they're, I don't know what they are, air methods, sand methods, but whatever they are, that you would use them to kind of blow out the flame. All right, so now we go back here. And this is number four. The other place was number three, the, where we lit those flames. Number three on the map. Sorry, I didn't mention that. That was number four. And then now we're going to go all the way to five. So these things, you can get these to blow out. That, what are they? Uh, air, me yeah, air Method Warriors. You could use the Air Method Warriors to blow out the, blow them out. But I'm going to use instead my wands going forward. I just wanted to show you how you could use the methods to do it if you're running into problems with your uh, you don't have the same UMD I have for example all right so we need to go to the non-inferno side first so this is on the map number five so we'll beat this down We're on the non-inferno side now. And again, these things are going to respawn when we get back to the inferno side. You know, I guess you could technically... Uh, so now I'm going to... Uh, my wand chance initially is... Uh, this guy first. So my wand chance initially with greater heroism on is up to 55%, so that increased it by 20. I'm going to put my cloak on... And that raises it to 70%. I think that's good enough. And you can sort of aim if you kind of like do this. You can get two and one. Sometimes. Whoa. That was a misfire there. So I failed my attempt. And then bring the sword up, and then you fight this fire elemental. So that's how I'm going to do it with the wands. If you prefer the method way, uh, you could certainly do the method way. Let me give Wyo a little heal. Actually, I should probably be a little careful because she does not give me spell points back. Alright, so that was number... Again, I forgot to mention what I got there, but that was number six. 
and now we're going to number seven right on the map which takes us to the inferno side and these are all the things we killed all these things that weren't there last time are the things we killed on the other side so and plenty of methods if you you know if you want to use the meth method approach all right okay so now we're on the inferno side and so there's flames here that we want to put out with the ice wand so again i'm at 60 percent so that fire method wouldn't put it out but one of the air methods would so 60% is okay, it's better than half. I'm just gonna go for it. You can see it puts it out, the ice storm puts out the flame. That one got, this one, not this one, so. I mean, I have been able to get sometimes two at a time, but it's not e easy. Then, and then now we're fighting a uh, this is an undead elemental by the way fire elemental all right so this we're in here is on the map spot eight okay so there's a air method warrior that's what we'd use to blow it out if you didn't want to use your ice storm wands and now we're going to go back here and on this the map this is spot number nine all right, then we're going to go this way. Pass this over to here. And this is very important. The whole party needs to be here when you kill this guy. And in this case, you can, I can just summon my hirelings, so it doesn't matter. But if you're in a party, you don't want to you don't want to uh, kill that guy until other people are there because it's, you know it just makes it harder for everyone to stay together. So you need to have everyone kind of gather around that acolyte and then kill the acolyte. The acolyte dying is what actually makes you transfer over to this side um, to the inferno side from the other side. And then at that point, right then this is unlocked for everybody. They can use the shrine, but. Um, all right so this is spot 10 on the map and now we're going to sort of do a like a u-turnish type thing the hallway continues unabated so we're going to go back look at these traps <laughs> search item on hmm. so no trap box just a trap so that we're just gonna jump down Lanes crawl high up the walls and this, this is spot this 11 is curiously devoid of flame. and if you search here uh, interesting let's see if I put my cloak on all right so this is an interesting thing to note the um, the epic voice of the master and the heroic mantle of the world shaper still gives you uh, DM's vision, which gives you true save. So I'm going to use this combo and I'll switch. But I'll need to switch to my other cloak for UMD for the wand. So I'll have to switch back and forth. All right, so this is spot number 12 on the map. We're going to kill it to get to the non inferno side because first we have to light the torches before we can put them out. So we, we light them on the in non inferno side and then we put them out on the inferno side. The torches lie cold. And I don't like the method way, so I'm going to just use the wand. And let me get my cloak on. Hands. I think I have auto target on, that's why it does that. If it sees the coffin. Whoops. The and then 
we have to kill this guardian. Alright, and this is, um, well, this is actually 12, so 11, 12, then 13. Now and then this is 14. Summon him once more. So we are going to use the ice wand, and I've got my cloak on. 60% chance. So it's going to fail some. It failed there. But I got plenty of wand charges. Whoop. And this is the, uh, again, a, a Cinder Spawn. A Cinder Spawn is an undead elemental, fire elemental, and they're actually worse, probably worse in a lot of ways than an undead elemental. They have some pretty nasty attacks. They have Wild Heal herself. All right, so, again, this is 14. Now we're gonna hop up on here. We've gotten this side. Well, I guess I'll get this out this method just so we don't harass Wild. Climb up here. This thing kind of falls. That's okay. Let me check for traps. So the trap box is probably after the trap. That's pretty typical. And yeah, there's also enemies after the trap. That's coming from, but all right. And so this is 15, and again, this is probably an area I normally would skip. This is to get the key for that last chest. But I don't usually use do these, so I don't know if there's like a better way to get their attempt their attention. So I'm just gonna skip it, you know, because I normally do anyways. And uh, let's see, we have a trap. Let me check that. All right. So then this is the way I usually go. So. Um, Similar to before. And this is 19 on the map. Out this way. Alight the flames to bring forth the guardian. And so that's pretty interesting. That uh, that guy had a fireball and he, he used it, and we didn't have to use our wand. So looks like that's another way to do it. Seek it out. All right. So. Um, so this is 20 on the map, and now we're going to go to 21, which is kind of all the way this direction. Wards sleep in this chamber. Its west entrance collapsed. Yeah, this is another one of these areas where you need to have everyone gather around the acolyte. So let me just point out, there's the acolyte. So you basically... And of course, if you kill only the Acolyte, then you only have to fight one thing on this side. 
if you kill everything on that side, right, then you then you have to kill everything again on this side. So it's kind of, you know, advantageous to kill just the Acolyte. These methods are separate. They spawn. All right, so this is... Twenty-one on the map. All right, and so Dungeon Alert Red. Let's go. Let's go this way because I have no idea how we got Dungeon Alert Dungeon Alert there, but let's kill all this stuff. That was kind of bizarre. I mean, pretty bizarre. I have no idea how we got so many things there. All right, so. With intense flames. Only the west exit is free of yep, fire. so I go this way, and it looks like there's some other sort of, I guess, pads to get the uh, other chest. But I go this way. Looks like I should, could use a shield clicky here. This is just a random chest. And on the map, this is... Will arise when the torches are darkened. This is the way I always go. And on the map, this is 20. Yeah, 22. That's right. Okay, so... Um, we will use our... Ice wand. I guess I'm getting close to the end, so I can use my skill boost. Skill boost brings me up to... 80%. Undead, it's an undead fire elemental. And this is where the end fight's going to be. We're almost to the end fight. Uh, we just have to go this way, which on the map is number While the flames burn blue, 20, the guardian 3. Will not return. We were here on the uh, non-inferno side earlier. And I'm going to use my human skill boost for this last. This is the last one we have to unlight. So I got two that time. Let's see if I can repeat that. Nope. And there we go. Another, the last cinder spawn. Well, not the last cinder spawn, but the last one associated with unlighting. And that 500 proc was my. That 500 proc at the end was the uh, level 18 Slayer of Evil 500 proc against Undead. Pretty useful. So this is our end boss, another cinder spawn. That's why I say that that, that guy was the last one only for the unlighting. Better, better help out for a while. Looks like all my stuff wore off, so let me just move up a little better DPS. The Super Strong accepts you as a worthy opponent and right. agrees to aid you against the Black Abbot. And this is the end chest. And we got right pincer. So now I'm thinking we may already have that one. Yeah, we already have that one. Uh, that's okay though. We'll have two. I mean, I guess we don't really need two, but. So I don't know what you do with these actually because this frame is now permanent, so I guess. I'll keep it for now. I'll probably delete it here once I confirm I'll never need it again. And I'm going to pause it while I go back to the get the, get the reward and get the quest again. Alright, so um, nothing too useful here. Uh, never take the mystical urn. That used to be used for crafting. It's currently not used, it'll just take up space in your inventory. So I'm gonna grab this, and I'm gonna retake the quest. And 
I'm going to pause it while I head back to the quest to run it on hard. And going back in on hard. I'll definitely give my fire and myself, or my hire and myself, fire. Resist. And I'm just going to give myself sort of the offense, defense, uh, quick buffs. And then again, we're facing east. We want to turn around and go west. Seek the flame guardians. Defeat them. And I'm just going to go the, the way I normally go on this. I'm going to not worry about in. the shield chest. It drops shield fragments. And there, there are some good shields in there if you're ever wanting to use shields. So I go to this is the first place I go to, which on the map is number two. Alright, and then I'm gonna go to this portal. Which is number two inferno on the map. Alright, and then. Yeah, one is two for the. Interesting, they have a two there twice. They have a two for the. Actually, that one is not, that's 26 on the map, not to the, the, the first portal light I did. All right, so maybe I should let him light it, but then we have to take his damage. So I'm gonna grab my fireball. And he did like two of them for us. Nice of him. Oops. So this is number three on the map. And then now we're gonna head back here, which is number four on the map. So kind of recapping, my first spot I went to was number 26 on the map. <laughs> um, and then from there I went to two, three, four. And then now I'm heading to five, which is down this way, past the number 26 portal we used, which is this one, on the other side, and then over to here, the somehow withstand the but we're gonna, burning of the infernal flame. we're gonna go use the portal, and this portal is number five. Number six. Gotta get this guy. It always hits the there. I don't know what Wyo is doing, but all right. So we light it on the regular non-inferno side. 
And then we go, so, so now we go over to se seven. Whoops. I was looking at the map while I was uh, heading here. I normally don't use the map because I do have this way memorized. Uh, but, which, you know, it's, it's it might seem like it's a pretty hard thing to memorize, but it's actually not once you run it a couple times. Um, and then here's all the undead that we had killed that stuff on the other side. Now it comes back on this side. Alright, and then this is number eight on the map. Got some kind of a poison thing going. Get myself to restore. Alright, ice wand. And what's my ice wand chance? 60, that's not too bad. If I had more, uh, if I had a, when I get a plus five intome on this build, I would definitely use it for uh, int, or I'd use it for UMD for the next skill I take. It would be kind of a tough call though between UMD, UMD and uh, lock picking. Because at level 30, we're probably going to have enough UMD to cast pretty much everything. Alright. Now we're going to go back to here, which is considered nine. On the map. And then we're going to go this way. Through this, and this is where we kill the. We want to kill the acolyte. The acolyte. Let's and if we kill, I killed him. Just, just him, so he's the only one I fight on this side. The acolytes are mandatory, but they're also the door is always open, so we don't have to worry about it. And so that's number ten on the map. And now we're gonna just sort of. So we're getting dungeon learned more. It's red, so I want to definitely kill some stuff. I didn't really think I was passing up. I really didn't think I was passing up a lot of stuff, but um, uh, maybe I just didn't notice. Alright, then we're going to jump down here. Oop, there's some lag. Flames crawl. This wall is curiously devoid of flames. Alright, and that was number 11 on the map. And this is number 12 on the map. Why I was kind of busy trying to kill the portal. Champion. Bringing him down quick. So now we're going to go back to the Inferno side to put the flame out. And so this is 12. Or no, yeah, this is thir 13. That was 12 over there. And this is 14. Alright, let me get my... That's Wyo. Using all our spell points on... Uh, the portal, the very dangerous portal. Yeah, 
Yeah, they have a pretty effective knockdown. That's something I, I'd worry about in Reaper mode. I think it's not that bad. I mean, there's worse, but um, it would be something that I'd, you know, that would be a concern on, on Reaper mode. All right. I'm just going to ignore that. Orange, that's not good. We try to clear some stuff. Here. Well, green, that's not too bad. I'm just gonna go to the end of this thing and ignore everything. And this is on the map number 19. Alight the flames to bring forth the garden. We might get some liches from these guys. From these guys. Nice of them to help us out. So I guess that's another option besides the fire elementals is or the, the fire methods is the those thaumaturge casters. So that was 20, and now we're heading to 21. Yellow alert. Yeah, I don't see how this alert keeps going up, even though Lord, nothing's... Sleep in this its yeah. west entrance collapsed, and the word support rather than knockdown concern. Method, I guess. All right, so we're gonna go through here and again kill the acolyte. There it is. Ideally, just the acolyte, and then just get this guy on the side. And this is 21 on the map, and this is your sort of last chance to shrine. Uh, good form would be to open this if. Well, Dungeon Alert Red, I'm going to open it to try to get rid of that. But you generally would open it for party members that didn't make it through. If people are lost or behind or whatever. Then they'd be able to, then the party members would get through to the end area. I guess I should have my shield cookies on here. So I'm going to put call my hireling down, and I'm going to get these flames out. We are almost to the end. And then we get the sinners gone. And so this is the end area, end fight area here. Um, it's also the other side of the beginning. So this is where we started in the beginning, but it was on the opposite side, the, the non inferno side. While the flames burn blue, the Guardian will not return. Oh, my God. 
Well, it's a nice piece of armor. I really wish it had uh, death block on it. I'd use it as my main armor. But um, I'm just going to grab something to sell to the vendor. I guess this is as good as anything. Or not sell to the vendor. Uh, break down for essences. And that is, I'll retake the quest. And that is Infer Inferno of the Damned on normal and hard. 